The United States military began collecting the remnants of a Chinese high altitude surveillance balloon shot down by an Air Force fighter over the weekend. Air Force General Glandy Van Herk, commander of the North American Aerospace Defense Command and US Northern Command said the recovery effort began about 10 a.m. Rough sea thought it safe comprehensive debris collection yesterday. On Saturday an F22 Raptor fighter from the 1st Fighter Wing at Langley Air Force Base Virginia fired one AIM-9X side window missile at the balloon which had floated southeastward across the United States. It fell about 6 miles off the coast of South Carolina into about 50 feet of water. No one was hurt. Precautions are being taken during the salvage operation in case explosive or toxic substances are present. When Huck quoted saying in the press release released by the Department of Defense Pentagon due to changing oceanic current it is possible that some debris could escape notice and wash ashore when huck said member of the public can assist by informing local law enforcement personnel if they spot remnants of a balloon they should not collect it themselves the uss carter hall an amphibious landing ship is collecting debris in the vicinity of the splash town he said The USNS Pathfinder, a survey ship, is mapping the ocean floor using sonar for the debris search. Explosive ordnance members and at least one unmanned underwater vehicle are also participating. In addition, the Coast Guard cutters, Venturus, Richard Snyder, and Nathan B. Brucknethel, along with the Coast Guard Aviation Support, are keeping the area safe for military personnel and the general public. The FBI and Naval Criminal Investigative Service agents are embedded with salvage operations personnel to assist in counterintelligence work he added. Wenak mentioned that the Federal Aviation Administration was helpful in closing airspace when the balloon was being shot down. US intelligence officials believe that the recently recovered Chinese spy balloon is part of an extensive surveillance program being run by the Chinese military according to multiple American officials familiar with the intelligence CNN reported. The surveillance program which includes a number of similar balloons is in part run out of the small Chinese province of Hainan officials tell CNN the US does not know the precise size of the fleet of the Chinese surveillance balloons but sources told CNN that the program has conducted at least two dozen missions over at least five continents in recent years Roughly half a dozen of those flights have been within US airspace although not necessarily over US territory according to one official familiar with the intelligence and not all of the balloons sighted around the globe have been exactly the same model as one shot down off the coast of South Carolina on Saturday that officials and another source familiar with the intelligence said rather there were multiple variations linked to the border surveillance program which was uncovered before the latest balloon was spotted last week was first reported by the washington post meanwhile at a government lab in quantico virginia an elite team of fbi engineers is poring over the remnants of the recovered balloon trying to learn everything it can about the intelligence it may have gathered and how best to track surveillance balloons in future sources familiar with the effort say that the officials want to understand as much as possible about the balloon's technical capabilities including what kind of data it could intercept and gather what satellite it was linked to and whether it has any vulnerabilities that the us might be able to exploit and perhaps critically the investigators will be looking at what digital signatures it emitted to see if they provide a better way for the us to track this kind of balloon in future the commander of the us northern command general glen when he acknowledged to reporters on monday that the us had a domain awareness gap that had allowed past balloons to cross into the us airspace undetected one source familiar with the fbi operation said the analysis and the reconstruction of the balloon's payload will ideally determine whether the airship was equipped with the ability to transmit data it collected in real time to the chinese military whether the device contained stock collection the china would later analyze after the device was eventually recovered china maintains the vessel down by the us was a weather balloon thrown off course but did offer a rare expression of regret over it in a statement on friday